What's up YouTube, it's your boy Tits here, and today I want to do a revised uh, build video of the Gratica Crypt build. I did a video for this gun about a month ago, I never, knew, I never knew it was going to be so popular, but this was around the time I was switching over to Warframe vids, well actually, I was switching games, and I was just trying a few Warframe vids out, really just because I had some people that wanted help with some build videos, wanted help with some guns and stuff, and now that I... Um, just so many people were into Warframe. Uh, there's just a couple of videos I wanted to make revised videos of and explain things a little better and explain a few extra things because um, I didn't do it. I didn't get them all in in the pre uh, in the first video when I did the the Gratica video. I never really wasn't really planning on just keep doing Warframe's videos, but uh, <laughs> it got real popular. So you know. Anyways, with the Gratica. So you can check the stats on Wiki. We won't get into that. The build is Split Chamber all the way up, Vital Sense all the way up, Serration all the way up, Point Strike all the way up, Piercing Hit all the way up, and then you'll have six points left. Ice is a good all around damage against all factions, whereas a lot of elemental mods are just good against one and not good against others. Um, and also, with six points, you can get 45% in freeze damage. In Electric and Fire, you can only get you can only get the mod up with six points, so 15. Um, it's good against Corpus, 200% bonus damage, and then also good against shields, and it slows enemies. So if you don't really feel like switching your mods in and out, this is a great one, and I mean, like, just for this one mod. And if you want a form of this gun, it's great, because you can add a V slot, save seven points, and let's see, yeah, you'll save seven points, and with those seven points, you can take cry rounds all the way up and add an ammo drum with four points or when you're fighting uh, like for Grenier you can leave cryo on but when you're fighting infested and you want fire or corpus which cry around still good for corpus but electric is better because you get a 400 percent bonus so for those two you can put a uh, electric or fire one in and if you rank them up twice for 45 percent that'll cost eight points so you'll have two points left then and you can still put your ammo you can still fit your ammo drum in and that's what I'd really recommend that or what I said before or you know if you don't care about having extra ammo you can go all the way up with um, well you can go four ranks up with the fire or um, electric it's up to you so something I wanted to explain I didn't before the way the crit works and all that the Gratic has a 9 base damage that throws a lot of people off the reason it's so good and you can do a, a very light quick tap of the fire tri uh, your fire button left mouse button on like a level 55 ancient or highly armored grenier or whatnot and drop them is because of how high you're critting and the fact that elemental mods crit too which people don't people don't usually get Basically, the way it works is to figure out the math. You got nine base damage. You got to times that by 135% damage serration. That gives you your new base damage. So you know it's nine to nine's 18, and then another 35%. So you know it's 20 something. And then you take that time, and then you have to times that by your base crit of the gun, which is either 150 or 200%. And then you also got to take your new base damage of the gun times your crit damage mod and when you add all those in that's your crit and I think this gun has a 20% crit so it's like 50% after your full crit chance mod so you crit a lot and it shoots really fast so that's that's mainly why this gun got blah, that's why this gun does so well now lastly another thing I didn't explain in the first video is your damage mods your ele elemental mods can crit too and this is how they work. You take your weapon base damage times your any weapon enhancing mod, which is only serration. So you take your 9 times 135 and then add that back to 9. That's your new base damage. And then if let's say let's say we're doing ice. So then you take that new base damage times your elemental mod's mod power which right now we have ours of 45%. Then you times that by the resistance, 
you know, the or vulnerability percent that the enemy has. So if it's corpus and you're shooting them in the head, it's 200% for ice. So then you take it this 45% times 200. So it's 9 times 135 times 45 times 200. That is the damage that your elemental mods are going to do. That's how you figure out the damage your mods put out for all weapons. Lastly, a lot of people don't know this, but your mods can crit also. Whenever your gun crits, your mods will crit. So all them yellow numbers aren't just your weapon critting, it's your mods critting too, which I didn't explain that in the first video. So to get that figure, you take the figure you got from what I said last time, like how to figure out the damage that your, your elemental mod does. Once you figure that out, you just take that times your crit damage, which for this gun it's 150 or 200%, it's on wiki. All right, and then you add that to the damage you're starting with, and then you take your base damage again times by this crit mod, and then add that to the base damage. That's going to be the crits you're doing for your elemental mods. So once you do all that math, your Gratica is packing a hell of a lot more than nine damage, you know, with each shot. That's the whole thing that makes the Gratica so powerful. So I wanted to, you know, go into detail in this video, but I'm not really going to go any longer. If you have any more questions, just message me. I'll do a gameplay. I'll put up a gameplay video after this video. I'll have a link. I'll have an annotation and a link in the description. Um, also, if you guys are having trouble figuring out your crit mod or how crit really works, because truth is, you don't take if it's 150% crit on a gun, you don't you don't times that by the gun's base damage to get your new damage. I'll have to explain it. I'm going to make a crit uh, a crit math tutorial video. Um, and that's pretty much it. Other than that, the only thing is the Gratica is not armor ignore, so remember you will take a lot of damage reduction from your base damage and, you know, like from when you crit too. So always be shooting in their weak spots, like Ancients, Feet and Head, Grenier, Head, I think Corpus Head, Moa's midsection and then you're fine so you'll see that you'll see a lot lower numbers too when you're not always hitting in them weak spots it's the only downfall of a non armor ignore weapon so without further ado you know go check out the gameplay and watch how I tear up some Grenier on Kiste with Gratica so I hope this video was a little more um, informing for you guys helped some of you out that were sending me you know lots of messages just want to know this and that hope this uh, revised video help you guys out please comment like subscribe and I'll catch you guys later peace